right, boys, so we have a brand new quarterback in the game, and Steve McNair, otherwise known as Air McNair, is finally here for the AKA promo. I'm super excited about this card. He gets a discounted AP on the Fearless and Sefi lead, which is the two kind of stack that everybody is running right now for their abilities. But if you guys enjoy gameplays like this, we get these out as fast as possible for every new card. We do top 10s on the channel as well. Make sure to hit that sub button. We are so close to 20K, and let's get into the gameplay. So looking at Steve Air McNair, here he is. I don't have him in my lineup. I'm in a 40-40 Legend Steam team, so he'll be getting a little bit more boost in game. But this is what his bare naked card looks like. 88 speed, 93 throw power, which will be a 96 on the team I'm excited for. He has really good accuracies as well. 88, 90, and a 90 right there. Throwing the pressure is amazing. Throwing the runs really good. The play action at 87, I don't really think play action matters too much maybe you guys do i don't know but it's whatever there moving to his abilities which really do matter you do get set feet lead right here you could use fearless for four but i think set feet leads the one you save more ap on you set feet lead for three there and then the one ap fearless you get it for a total of four ap which is beautiful and he does have an x factor bazooka which i don't really have many bombs in my playbook so i don't really use it if you guys like to throw a lot of bombs you could use bazooka right there but for my case, it makes no sense for me to use it, but it's right there. It's that X Factor for 1 AP. But anyways, boys, let's get into a game. Let's see what his release is. Let's see how good he is. All right, boys, before we get into the gameplay, come check us out on Twitch. We'll be live at 1 p.m. Eastern. We'll be doing our 1 AKA reroll, maybe some AKA packs. We'll be using McNair. We'll be using the brand new William Perry as well. Come say what's up and let's get right into the gameplay. All right, boys, so we did get into a game here and it looks like we're playing a pretty solid team. It looks like a Legends theme team maybe here. And Steve McNair, we're actually using three of the Team Diamond wide receivers. I'm just trying out new cards. That's all I like to do. If you guys ever come to our stream, you know that's all we do. We just buy new cards, try them out, and then the next stream we do the same exact thing. All right, so he has no edge threats, so we're gonna be sending these boys off the edge, or he has no edge protector, so we're gonna send our edge threats off the edge every single play right here. Let's see what we got going, though. We're using some uh, some cover four. Nice little dump down to start it off. You know, that was the first play. I haven't played all weekend. You know, we gotta, we'll be fine. I gotta guard the middle a little bit better myself. That's what I gotta do. And you guys can see, he's just chucking it up right now. Let's go, baby. Come on, man. We got two people over there. I get into dollar if he keeps on running plays like this underneath. That's, uh, that's definitely gonna be the way to beat this. And it looks like... I have no clue what he was throwing there. That ball was so perfectly. If that was thrown normally, I think that's a pick right there from our flat. And it's going to be hard for him. He has no edge protectors. We have both the double or nothing and edge threat on a, uh, the combo on both of our ends, which is insane. You guys can see they win almost every single rep. And boom, just like that stray hand again. Let's get a stop here. Maybe hopefully force him to punt the ball. And then we could be have a great offensive drive with Steve McNair. Let's see what he's got going for us. I'm going to be honest. I don't think that was a, that good of a read, but let me know what you guys think. He just threw it right there in front of two people, but, you know, that is mad and at its finest right there. Hey, boys, Steve McNair is on the field. It looks like he might be starting off with a cover three. You guys can see my wide receivers. They're all team diamonds, like I said. We're trying out cards over here on the team. Let's see. Steve McNair, nice little flood side to the right in here, and it looks like he should get it. This guy does have some KO, so this might be a little bit risky. Okay, so it looks like we're going to get a heavy dose of man coverage and a bunch of KO, so we're going to have to possession catch a lot unless we're completely wide open. Let's see on this next play right here. Is he D-line user in me? Look at Joiner though. Joiner absolutely killing people. And Joiner almost took that one to the house on a simple crosser. All right, McNair's looking good. So last year, as you guys know, he had the Aaron Rodgers release, the Slinger one release, whatever you want to call it. This year, they took it away from him. I think if they would have gave it to him, if, oh, this was almost a very bad read right there by me. If they would have gave him the Slinger one Aaron Rodgers release, it would have killed Outway's price. So you knew they weren't going to do it. I think we all had a, like a little bit of a, a glimpse of hope that they would give him the Aaron Rodgers release and it would tank Outway's price. But, you know, I, I just I just never thought they were going to do it. Let's see here right here. Joiner wide open. I mean, we are kind of dominating right now. I'm not going to lie. We're talking, casually playing the game. We're dominating on offense. I don't know why Waddle's in the game, but let's see if Waddle can bounce off the edge. It looks like Waddle, our backup. I think he's like our fifth string wide receiver. I don't even think he's like in our... I think he's literally just a kickoff returner. He's going to come in and score a touchdown in the back of the end zone. Look at our guy, Air McNair, laying it on a lace back there. I'm going to keep on running the exact same defense just to cover for a match with the edge starts going crazy. He did throw an awful read and he scored on because he like glitched through everybody, but 
I think we'll be okay. Hopefully, we can get a stop on those plays where he just whips it. Let's see. And he's just chucking it up again. Oh, man. I couldn't even control him right there. Like the defense we are playing. That's another ball. He did that in the first quarter as well, or the first drive as well, where he kind of just chucked it up there. And you guys could see a lot of these reads. He's kind of panicking. Once you start throwing reads like that, you're panicking. Maybe third and six. What is he going to do right here? And it looks like we got home. Uh-oh. Big fourth and six here. It looks like he is going to punt. I don't know. This could be a fake i don't know fourth and six it's very early in the game i could definitely see somebody pop up okay he's actually begging i thought he was gonna fake it uh let's wave it off and let's go full yard with our guy eric nair all right boys let's see if we can go ahead and get ourselves another touchdown on this drive and take a nice little lead we get ball at half as well so this game is looking pretty nice and look at joiner brand new joiner card taking a couple hits sustain and bounce and our opponent randomly quitted all right well let's get into another one i guess so we did get into a second game and it looks like we might be getting the ball second again two games in a row we're playing the eagles theme team which is i love playing theme teams i don't know i love seeing what people are rocking seeing different type of type of players on the field you know what i mean and we actually are getting the ball first wow all right so it looks like we might be playing the dime blitz right here which is just straight man cover uh just straight man coverage right across the board let's see though i don't know though first play of the game kind of is a guessing game and you guys could see he is he 100 is that's how you kind of could tell is if that corner blitz is right away hey so it looks like he has five down linemen maybe he went to a different blitz here now but it looks like he's probably gonna stay in something and it looks like actually really good defense from our opponent right there we're gonna throw that one away wow always find this the hardest is when people are calling random plays i don't know about you guys because you can't read anything i don't think they they know what they're doing so it's kind of hard to predict what they're doing you know what i mean versus somebody running the same play all the time and it looks like maybe we need this and i think we got our toes in. let's go joiner hey yeah this guy is making it too obvious when he's blitzing now let's motion this guy aside we're gonna block our running back here we should have some nice little success hopefully we can pick up that block and it looks like we did and joiner wide open again man i think our slant was gonna be open too but you can see his user went to it we're gonna have everything else open so when he goes to this i know he's going to like a cover four look and you guys could see wide open for dave casper right there now he's becoming predictable now i know what he's doing time he's came out in this look he's giving me a cover four he could be switching it up and nope okay never mind he's still going cover four right here let's see looks like we're actually gonna get a couple yards with our guy air mcnair Hey, we'll take that. All right, I can't tell if this is man coverage or not. We'll see right here, obviously. And it looks like it is. Joiner in front of the defender. High ball. Easy touchdown. Let's go. Second touchdown of the video. Hey, right, boys, let's see what our opponent has going for us. Remember, he is in the Eagles theme team. At, what I think, right? It definitely, I 100% I think it is. I don't know why he has different jerseys on. You can see Jordan Mailata. He's in the stadium. He has Vic. It's definitely an Eagles theme team, but let's see. Second and six. We did stop him there for only four yards in that run. Can we get another good play? He did take a timeout already because he let the clock run all the way down. I think he was like AFK or something. Let's see. We need that. Come on, night train lane. All right, baby. Let's see. I kind of clicked the random play, so he kind of got kind of free right there. Oh, it's tough. All right, let's see. First and 10. I, I don't even want to show the play that happened last time. I called a random play on accident. And let's see what we got going here. And there it is, man. Get out that empty. Okay, second and 14. We know this guy definitely wants to get the run game going. And yes, you guys. Oh, man. I don't. I have a backup D tackle in right now because I plan on picking up William Perry during the stream later. And he just made a play. Here we go. Third and 17. We are sending the heat at him. And I accidentally messed up, didn't I? Oh, thank God we got to the quarterback. I messed up my audibles. I think they changed something. This is not what... Yeah, they definitely changed something. Because this normally was a blitzer. Maybe it's because I'm not... I don't know. But let's see. We're sending the heat still here. Fourth and 17. Can we get a good play going? And he's just going to chuck it up. And bam, bam, cam. Easy pick. Let's go, boys. All right, so we know when he comes out in this, he likes to run a man blitz. So we might be getting Joiner on a wide open touchdown. And yep, that's exactly what we are going to get right there. And not a touchdown, though. And okay, I, we'll take that, though. That's a good play right there. Six for seven, 100 yards and a touchdown already. All right, let's see if we can get a nice play going right here. And it looks like maybe... Ah, uh, let's just throw that one away. That was kind of just a eh, eh, play call news is is that we have gotten this guy to call random plays now he is literally calling random plays because i think he's just trying to find an answer because steve mcnair has been way too much for him second and 10 let's see what we can get going right here and it looks like b is going to be what that fearless that fearless is nasty boys he called the exact same play you can tell because he always does he literally always does let's see we might have y wide open which is going to be sweetness 
Let's go, boys. Another touchdown. It looks like we're going to get him on out of here. GG's, man. Jay McNair's him. Boys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Steve McNair is definitely an animal. We dominated throughout the entire game. Even the second game, we dominated on defense as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll be live on Twitch around 1 p.m. Eastern. If you guys want to come check us out, we'll use Air McNair. We'll do our AKA reroll. We'll do everything for you guys over there. Come say what's up, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, boys.